Hallelujah, glory to God. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always a privilege to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. Hallelujah. If this is the first time you're seeing me, the first time you're coming across my channel, God bless you. And thank you so much for stopping by. I pray that God will use this, this um, channel to minister to you, to make you know the, the word of the Lord and the voice of the Lord, confirm the voice of the Lord you hear in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. The Lord laid his word in my heart and I couldn't wait to share. Someone can't wait to hug you and kiss you. And this is real. It's not just some illusion. It's not a charade. It's not literally. He can't wait to hug you and kiss you and, and just throw their weight on you. That is how much they love you. This prophetic word is coming to you to know that there is no way you can go. Where can you go from the love of God? That is what the Bible says. Where can you really go from the love of God? This is just to let you know that it doesn't matter how far you have wandered away from God. He is waiting for you. He has not given up on you. He is just hoping that you could come back. No matter, in, no matter the state in which you find yourself, he just wants you to come back. No matter how messed up you are, he just wants you to come back. When I received this prophetic word, what came to my mind was the story of the prodigal son. Yes, the prodigal son did bad. Of course, he took his, his inheritance and squandered it with living, uh, you know, carelessly and lavishly without thinking of the repercussion and now everything got finished he had already wasted all his inheritance and he started you know living off a pig style he was walking there and started feeding off a, a pig feed you know and one day he tells himself why am i suffering like this in in my father's house even the servants there they have enough to eat and to drink why will I stay here and I'm suffering? I will arise and I will go back to my father's house. And I will tell him I am not worthy to be called your son. If only you just let me stay here and one of, as one of your servants, I'm going to be very happy. Little did he know that the father had been expecting him to come back. The father will wake up every day, go outside and watch to see if the son is coming back. He did that almost every day until this one fateful day while he went out to watch to see if the sun was coming he saw him coming the bible say that when the sun was coming but he ran to the sun oh my goodness what a loving father this is real love he ran to the sun and hugged him and kissed him and commanded the, the servants to 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 take care of him give him a royal bath dress him up and then put a ring on his finger the ring symbolizes his sonship he means you are still a son don't worry i know i know that you're trying to say you're not deserving of this position but it's okay you are still a son it is the same thing god is telling you it doesn't matter how far you have wandered away from god he is waiting for you to honor you he is waiting for you to kiss you to hug you and to restore your sonship hallelujah glory to god do not let the devil manipulate you into thinking that what you have done, God cannot forgive you. God loves you for real. His love for you is genuine and there is no mountain he will not climb coming after you. There is no valley he won't go down coming after you. There is no wall he won't break down coming after you. You are very important to him. Do not stay away. Find a way to go back to God. Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you abundantly. Shalom.